Hey guys and welcome back to the channel and I just want to do a quick video uh, kind of like uh, acknowledging and uh, you know just my thoughts about the death of a music icon. I am of course talking about Meatloaf as you can see from the uh, title. Um, so Meatloaf just passed away a, a couple of nights ago. Uh, I think it was like late evening here in uh, India and uh, I've been uh, today's uh, Saturday. Uh, the 22nd I've been listening to um, some of his music uh, mainly on YouTube uh, uh, you know uh, to kind of like in remembrance uh, as paying my tributes as such for such a musical uh, legend I will say though I do not uh, consider myself to be a big fan of uh, Meatloaf uh, other than size wise of course uh, because I don't really have too many of his uh, songs. Uh, I don't really have his albums. I have mostly singles, but I do love uh, whatever I've heard, uh, especially, and I can say that uh, those three uh, songs are uh, are among my favorites. Um, you know, uh, controversially, uh, I'm going to put number three favorite song of Meatloaf is uh, Rock and Roll Dreams Do Come True. I just love that song so much, and the video as well. I remember watching it on cable, uh, uh, sorry, on Channel V, I believe Channel V uh, was an Asian um, music video channel, no longer, uh, of course, um, in that format, uh, died along with MTV. But they did run for music uh, music videos for a very long time, so I remember watching that particular uh, vi music video for uh, many times. It was one of my favorites uh, at that particular year, uh, that particular point in time. I really love that video, um, love the song uh, even more, uh, that was number three. Number two is of course the big, big, big hit, uh, I will do anything for love, uh, but I won't do that. Um, I think uh, the video has been uh, or like just watching something on, uh, like looking for things about him on YouTube and the video has been actually ridiculed uh, in a couple of channels and uh, my take on that is, fuck you, uh, as your choice, but I don't really think um, it's a bad video. In fact, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good video. It's supposed to be um, uh, based on the uh, um, the storyline of uh, Beauty and the Beast. Although, to be honest, for the longest time, I actually thought he was supposed to be a vampire. Um, kind of give me that look, you know, when especially when he the chair moves on the seat, the kind of like almost throne kind of thing that he's sitting on uh, moves to one side uh, on its own, almost flies off. So that is number two and of course number one can only be the awesome, one of the best um, operatic rock songs of all time. So Meatloaf is considered to be uh, a rock opera and um, of course the best uh, song of his has got to be Battle of Hell. Um, I remember uh, not knowing much about uh, Meatloaf or the song until uh, maybe like early 91 or something like that is when I actually heard Battle of Hell, uh, maybe on uh, Channel V or something, Channel V or MTV, and uh, uh, being blown away by it, like you know the length of it, uh, the the uh, the uh, rising uh, guitar uh, lead solos. I thought it was actually awesome, um, and uh, you know. Uh, Banner of Hell being such a uh, such a huge huge hit, still very very popular. I have l listened to it ever since that point in time. Well, 1991 means I was turning 15 that year. So and after that, I think 1993 is when uh, I would do anything for love. Would came. I remember uh, my cousin and I liking that song a lot and uh, uh, some good re same really good songs. But to be honest, I've never bought any of his albums. Uh, I've just listened to and I have some songs that I've got all of his on uh, on mp3 format but that's a that's about it uh, so like more uh, uh, more respect and awareness about his stature um, in the music industry the rock industry rock uh, music genre uh, rather than actually being a big fan of his but it did um, you know hit me kind of a little bit because uh, I believe he I was a story that came on TMZ that he actually died of uh, or rather he had COVID and possibly that is the uh, the cause of death. Uh, uh, like you know, so uh, the other thing I really remember about Meatloaf is he's he has been in a couple of movies, but the one that I will always associate with him is of course 
uh, his role, uh, brief role as the dad uh, of Jack Black's character in the movie The Peak of Destiny and the song that they he sings like, you know, uh, <laughs> being a devout Christian, kind of rigid Christian traditionalist and uh, the son of course being a rock and roller who wants to rock out and go out in the, into the world and then he escapes from home. Um, yeah, so those are my kind of like memories of uh, Meat Look. I haven't really listened to any of his recent stuff to be honest, that's why I said I'm, I, I can't really say I'm a big fan of his but those songs in particular and some others that I've heard of his are really really big in my mind and it's just uh, sad to see that a lot of the big uh, guns are kind of like you know dying uh, musically um, especially from the music world uh, movie world as well uh, and he was like what 65 or 67 something like that Uh, not sure how exactly how old he was. I have a quick look. Uh, his actual name was Marvin Lee Ade. Uh, that's his actual name. Uh, yeah, he would have been about forty-five. Sorry, six. Sorry, he was seventy-four. Okay, I don't even think he was sixty-five. Okay, he was actually seventy-four years old. Um, and he passed away. Kind of looks like he was. Um, he had COVID. Is there any confirmation? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so apparently his uh, parent, his family is also um, tested positive, but they are they are doing kind of like okay. So yeah, uh, that's basically about it. Of course, he was apparently he was bigger than Trump, but uh, yeah, forget it. It's not a discussion for something like this. I do admire his uh, musical talent, so you know, I'm going to forgive him for some crap like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that's some things I just want to say about uh, the death of uh, Meatloaf. Uh, I can't really say rest in peace, but that's the kind of catch, catch all term that I use for death, uh, to be honest. Um, I don't really believe in an afterlife, but yes, um, I hope uh, his family is able to, uh, you know. Uh, move on um, and uh, you know mourn in peace and then move on with their lives and uh, his music is always going to be there for us uh, definitely uh, I don't know what's going to happen after this generation uh, anyway that's it about uh, what I want to talk about the passing of Meatloaf good night <laughs>